from WCBU, Peoria Public Radio. This is Out and About. I'm Dr. May Gilliland-Wright with Arts Partners of Central Illinois, and today we're talking with nationally renowned artist Alfred Conte about the unveiling of his first ever piece based on a subject outside of his hometown of Atlanta, Georgia at the Peoria Riverfront Museum on Sunday, June 9th. Joining us also is Everly Davis, the museum's assistant curator and community engagement coordinator. Alfred Everly, welcome to Out and About. Hi. Hello, thank you. Alfred, I know I speak for many when I say we are absolutely thrilled that you are returning to Peoria. The new piece you are unveiling, Our Greatest Inheritance, is a first of its kind for you. Until now, you focused on the stories of those living in Atlanta. How did you go about selecting the subject for this new painting? Well, the large part of that process was just being present in, in Peoria. Actually, Evelyn and I and a couple other people went out on a, I think it was a Saturday afternoon, and she was showing me the lay of the land, you know, places around town, and I had my camera with me. I was taking pictures of people and places as we were going along, and uh, we went to a barbershop. Mm. And uh, there we met a family, you know, uh, at least part of it, it was a father, with his daughters and his son. And, you know, again, when it, I guess when it comes to my part of my process is I don't pose people. You know, I allow them to uh, take the picture as they see fit. See fit. And then we took a, a few pictures with them and they were just doing what they were doing as kids and a father. And I, I had them to those photographs. And then, you know, as we talked about the project, the potential of it, and uh, what the subject matter of that would be, that immediately came to mind as I, you know, I culled through the images and, and uh, did some editing. Yeah, that was the one. So uh, thank you, Peoria. You know. <laughs> well, it sounds like your process then hasn't necessarily differed then from how you would work when you're in Atlanta versus how you worked through it while you were here in Peoria. No, no, not at all. Uh, I think it was a pretty straight across the board process. It's, you know, beat for beat. And I think the work speaks to, the finished product speaks to that. And uh, I'm very proud of that work. And I'm very proud of, of how it came out. It can be happy. Well, and you mentioned what it speaks to. It, from what I understand, you, you mentioned this as well. It's a father. So it sounds like it speaks maybe to family ties because your work often does have a message underlying it. Yes. One of the common threads that undergirds my work is you know, confronting stereotypes and tropes about black men, especially fathers. So that's kind of a through line uh, through my work uh, that I've been uh, working through for the past nine, 10 years. So when it came to addressing this, no different in regard to, to perspective, but the scale of it, that was different. So when it came to, to, to attacking that subject matter, I wanted to be very clear and, sh you know, especially when, in regard to how that family and especially, you know, the uh, the role of fathers is positioned in that work. Um, it's, it's not a, a piece that's, you know, shows some domineering presence, you know, some authoritarian presence. This is a father covering the, the kids that he produced in love, you know, mm -hmm. his greatest inheritances. So, yeah. That's what that's what that what, what what that work was born out of that spirit in that position. So Everly, this will be added to the exhibition Fresh New Directions in Contemporary Art. Tell us how this new piece fits in with the work that is already on display there, and importantly, as I understand, we talked about scale just now. This piece is the largest that the museum has ever commissioned. Yes. Not only is it the largest that the museum has ever commissioned, it's the first work that we've ever commissioned, period, mm. um, which is really cool. And to touch on a little bit about Alfred's process as well, when we were going around to different, you know, barber shops and restaurants and local businesses, we did take a lot of photos. He took a lot of photos. Um, I just had consent forms ready. <laughs> <laughs> but the museum, like our team allowed him to select the um, subject that he felt most led by. So it wasn't, even though we're asking him to create a painting, we really wanted this to be still his work and let him do what he does best. So for us with Fresh, we allowed him to choose the subject and this one happened to be a family and the kind of second portion of that uh, exhibition title new directions in contemporary art this is a totally new direction not only for the museum and what the art world is looking at but the presentation of it so often we see the black experience depicted in a very serious, contemplative, somber, and melancholy tone. And so this one has a more jovial air to it. So it 
uplifts the other works that are in the gallery. And its sheer size is just like such an eye catcher when you walk into. So we were really excited to add it to this space. And also the very first Alfred Conte painting that we had um, was in the same gallery space a year ago. So it's cool to hang this one up in that same area. If you are just joining us, you're listening to Out and About on WCBU, part of the NPR Network. I'm May Gilliland-Wright of Arts Partners of Central Illinois, and today we are talking with Alfred Conte and Everly Davis about the unveiling of Conte's new work at the Peoria Riverfront Museum. Alfred, part of your second visit to Peoria will be the first ever documentary on you and your work, and it is titled The Unseen Majority. would love to hear more about what we can expect to see and perhaps what this has meant to you the, the entire process. I imagine having a documentary made about you and made about something so personal to you must have been a bit surreal. Yeah, actually it was. Never had done anything, uh, participated in a project like that before. So looking back on the process, it was like two artists coming together to do a cooperative work. Uh, definitely that's something that wasn't in my wheelhouse prior mm-hmm. to that. But I guess if I can talk about it a little bit without giving too much away. <laughs> I would never considered myself to be an interesting person at all. I just <laughs> never did. But when Arshley came in and we connected and we talked about well, you know how his vision of how he wanted to uh, create it, how he wanted to go, and we had conversations about it. I, he, he reeled me in. And there's, you know, parts in it, you know, where he's speaking to, to the process, my practice in the studio, a bit about my background. We, so we you know, spoke to my parents, went down to Port Valley, you know, got some shots there. And then the community here, you know, that I make work in here in Atlanta. And uh, all of that, you know, just came together and just created this great tapestry of not just what I do here as an artist, but the why and why I create and, you know, and the people of Atlanta that the, that the work is centered on. And uh, I think it's uh, it, it surprised me. Mm-hmm. It surprised me when I saw the product. So, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to uh, what you all think uh, when it uh, debuts this upcoming week. Absolutely. And Everly, this all falls on the second Sunday of the month, which means there is no cost to the public to attend, correct? And there will be other events, including a book signing and a DJ. Tell us more. Correct. So second Sundays at the Peoria Riverfront Museum are sponsored by Art Bridges Access for All. So it is free admission and free programming for everyone. Um, So there's no reason why you shouldn't bring someone along with you to enjoy the day. We will have um, a DJ, free snow cones. There's some art activities happening. Um, Our summer exhibition Sharks actually just recently opened. So this is another free opportunity to see that Mm. cool exhibition from the American Museum of Natural History. So the film will happen. We'll unveil the painting at 1230 and we'll also have a gallery talk Um, before that book signing later in the afternoon. Alfred Everly, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. Thank you. Joining me in the studio next week will be musician Barry Cloyd to talk about a series of upcoming performances. I'm looking forward to that conversation and hope you'll join me right here on WCBU and WCBU.org. And while you are out and about this weekend, be sure to visit Area Artist Studios on this first Friday. From the Contemporary Art Center, Peoria Art Guild, North Art Studios, Foster Gallery, and more, this is your chance to connect with artists, see, and purchase their work. Also this weekend, see Legally Blonde at Cornstock Theater. Elle Woods appears to have it all, but her life is turned upside down when her boyfriend dumps her to attend Harvard Law. Determined to get him back, Elle ingeniously charms her way into law school. With the support of some new friends, Elle quickly realizes her potential and sets out to prove herself to the world. For more information on these and all other arts events, visit artspartners.net. You've been listening to Out and About, a production of WCBU and Arts Partners of Central Illinois. Our producer is Jody Holtz. Each week, we connect you to the arts community by talking with local arts leaders, artists, and performers. If you missed part of the conversation, you can catch the full interview at wcbu.org or subscribe to our podcast. I'm Dr. May Gilliland-Wright, and this is Out and About. Support for arts and culture coverage on WCBU comes from PNC Financial Services. PNC is committed to supporting local art and culture events in the communities they serve.